Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra and today we're going to cover how to sell AI wall art on Etsy. I've officially been selling art prints on Etsy for three years now and I've owned multiple shops. So I've learned a thing or two about what it actually takes to make sales. And with the help of some incredible AI art generators out there now, you can get started on this side hustle and make sales fairly quickly. We're going to go over how to figure out what style of artwork you should sell, what tool you'll need to create your AI art and how to offer both physical and digital art prints in your shop. So if you're excited, give this video a like and let's jump right in. You might already have an idea of what kinds of art prints you want to sell, but I always recommend doing your research and getting some inspiration from places like Etsy and Pinterest before you commit. To do this, hop onto Etsy and type in wall art to browse through the art prints that are already successfully selling. Take your time to figure out what styles you gravitate towards and what you would also love to offer to your customers. You can do this exact same research on Pinterest as well by typing wall art in the search bar and browsing through the pins that populate. Fun fact, many of these pins lead back to Etsy shops because most successful Etsy sellers use Pinterest to promote their products. This process will help you narrow down the styles you'd like to focus on for your shop, whether it's nursery wall art, boho wall art, landscape prints, or maybe minimalist prints, just to name a few examples. For this demonstration, I really gravitated towards vintage landscape art prints, and I found a few very successful shops with this aesthetic. Like this shop here that has made over 3,000 sales already, and only just recently opened in 2023, selling landscape oil painting style printables. They've already generated $17,000, which is amazing. And it looks like they only offer digital prints in their shop, which tends to lower the revenue potential, since you can't charge too much for printables. But since we'll be offering both physical and digital products, the revenue potential will be much higher. I'm using Allura to get this information. So if you want to do the same research on the shops you're looking at, you can try Allura for free using the link below in the description box. And if you'd like to try their paid version, I will leave a coupon code there for you as well. Just go into product research, click on shop analyzer, and type in the shop name here to get information like their total revenue, monthly revenue, best selling selling items, etc. This is another shop with a similar aesthetic that has made over 300,000 sales selling all kinds of vintage printable wall art and gallery wall art sets since 2020. Based on Allura, they've generated over $2 million in revenue, bringing in over $64,000 per month, which is absolutely wild. This is enough for me to confirm that vintage landscape art prints would be a very profitable niche. In order to create your AI art, you'll need a tool that generates high high resolution wall art when downloaded. And unfortunately, many AIR generators produce very pixelated finished products. This is why I highly recommend using Kittle, which is a graphic design software that literally anyone can use because it's very user friendly. They give you rights to use their graphics and fonts in your own products. And that includes the images that you generate using their AI feature. You can test out their pro plan for 30 days entirely for free using the link below with code Sandra August to check out. This offer is only valid for seven days, so make sure to grab it before it expires. Click on new project on the top right and choose the size you want your wall art to be. For this example, I want a landscape orientation, so I'll start at size 20 by 16 inch. I can always increase the DPI later when I download my finished product. To create your AI art, click on image generator on the bottom left of this menu. And you'll notice a prompt box where you can type in exactly what kind of image you want Kittle to create for you. You'll also notice that Kittle gives you the option to choose the art style you're going for. So you can browse through all their image, clip art, vector and pattern styles to really customize your art print. So I'm going to go into image styles and select acrylic for this one. And I'm going to type in a field of beautiful soft white and brown wildflowers, soft white and blue sky. The prompts definitely take some time and practice before you start generating images you really like. This is what Kittle generated for me based on this prompt, which I absolutely loved, but I changed it slightly to include all of green wildflowers with a white sky. And 
and got this image, which I personally liked better. You can customize it further by using the menu on the right side to change the brightness, contrast, and saturation if you want. I like less saturated vintage art prints, so I just reduced that and loved the final product. If you want more ideas on how to customize your AI art to make it even more unique, you can watch this video next. I will link it down below for you. Here are just a couple of more landscape art prints I generated in Kittle using the prompts on the screen if you wanted to get some more ideas. I like to get inspiration from Kittle's AI art feed, where you can take a look at the prompts that other users have used to generate all styles of AI images. You can even copy their prompts just to get some practice and see what you're able to generate. Once you're happy with your artwork, download your file using the download button at the top and select the file format you want. This is also where you can customize the resolution of your print, which is one of my favorite features that Kittle offers. Now, you won't actually be creating, packaging, or shipping the physical prints to customers yourself because you can simply use a third-party print-on-demand company like Printify that will do all the work for you. Printify integrates with your Etsy shop so that when you get a sale on Etsy, Printify gets notified and is able to fulfill the order for you. All you have to do is upload your design on any of the products within their catalog and they take care of the rest once you make a sale. You can watch how to integrate your Etsy shop with Printify step-by-step step in this video here, which I will link down below. Printify is also completely free to use, so you can go ahead and sign up using the link down below as well. Since you've already downloaded your art print from Kittle, you just need to upload it onto one of Printify's posters or canvases. Under Home and Living, I'm going to select Posters, and this is where you can choose which style you want to offer. You can see that some options include a frame with the posters, and others do not. I'm going to select the Premium Matte Horizontal Poster for this example, so this one does not include a frame. Most options are offered in multiple sizes that you can choose from, which is great. So just click on Start Designing, and it opens up an artboard where you can simply drag and drop your downloaded image from Kittle. I'll go ahead and do that. You might have to adjust your art print to fit the artboard size depending on what you started with, which is okay, but we're going to offer multiple sizes anyway. Under product variants, you can choose the size options you want to offer to your customers. So I'll just select the ones I want and click update. When you save the product, you'll notice a mock-up that Printify has generated for you, along with other default details for your listing, like the title, description, price, etc. Now, before you hit publish to your shop, let's talk about what you need to do to actually make art print sales based on my personal experience. Many sellers all tend to use the same mock-ups for their products, making it really hard to stand out from their competitors on Etsy. So you need to showcase your art prints using beautiful mock-ups that are unique to your shop and aesthetic, and that will help you stand out from other listings. One of my favorite platforms to get mock-ups from is Creative Market. So I found this beautiful boho frames bundle that I downloaded for my vintage wall art prints. I always purchase bundles so that I can reuse them and have many options to choose from for my other art prints as well. This one is a large package that comes with JPEG and PSD files. Since I have Photoshop, I transferred my art print onto these three different mockups that I really liked. You can use Photoshop, Kittle, Canva, or any other software to do this as well. Trust me, photos will make a huge difference when making sales on Etsy because it's one of the main features that shoppers rely on when deciding which listing to click on and which product to purchase. You'll also need to customize your listing title and description to cover all the details of your art print and include relevant keywords to help you rank in Etsy search. I've covered search engine optimization on Etsy in many other videos on my channel, so I will link a few down below for you if you want to know exactly how it all works. Set your retail price based on what your competitors are charging for physical art prints in similar sizes. Don't go much lower or much higher than other shops so that you can still stay within a competitive range. It's just as simple as that. When you publish your listing from Printify to your Etsy shop, you can go into your listing at any time to edit anything you want. Now, if you want to offer your art prints in a digital format as an option to your customers as well, you'll need to create a whole 
separate listing directly on Etsy. You've already downloaded the digital file from Kittle earlier. So all you have to do in this case is select the digital option in this new Etsy listing, which will allow you to add the file or files of the art print you're offering. I personally have been selling all my printable wall art in JPEG format because I noticed many of my competitors were doing the same. The best part is you can use the same mockups you already created for your physical wall art listings, copy and paste the title, description, and tags into these digital listings, and just edit everything to clarify that this is the digital download option. To illustrate exactly how this would look and work, here is the example of my wall art listings that I just created. This is the first listing with the physical art print where the customer would receive a physical poster directly from Printify if they were to purchase this one. I have clarified in the images and the description that the frame is not included with the poster to avoid any confusion. They can choose the size they want and the price will be adjusted accordingly based on what I have entered into Printify. Here is the second listing with the digital artwork instead. I revised the images and listing details to clarify that this would be the digital download option. If they make a purchase here, they will receive the JPEG file that I've uploaded in this listing directly from Etsy, as opposed to an actual physical item. Let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments below. I'm happy to create step-by-step -step detailed tutorials on this process in future videos. Make sure to grab your 30-day free trial of Kittle's Pro Plan by clicking on the link below and using code SANDRAAUGUST. Again, this offer expires in seven days, so make sure to grab it before it's gone. You can also sign up for Printify entirely for free using the link below in order to offer physical art prints in your shop as well, just like I've demonstrated in this video. Give this video a like if it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.